What's up, YouTube? This is a little cup battle against ML Frosty Pixie from uh, YouTube. So we organised this uh, battle over Skype, and uh, let's get uh, cracking. So I'm starting with my uh, Chimchar lead. She's starting with her balls. That's um, just thinking there. I'm going to go for the fake out. Uh, that flinches her balls, so I'm going to swap out there because I'm ex expecting something like Volt Switch or Electric Attack. So I'm going to go into Bronzong to Bronzong Bronzor to tank that shit. Uh, and that's uh, pretty decent. Um, still does pretty decent damage to me, regardless. So she sends in a hot pu hot pussy, and uh, I'm definitely expecting flare lits along those lines. But on the switch, I did get the light screen up, um, which might come in handy a little bit uh, later on. Probably would have been better for the reflect, but oh well. Okay, so I'm going to go into um, my whoop here to just tank out that um, flare blitz because I know that's going to hit really, really hard. Um, still does a chunk of damage, a nice chunk of damage there. Um, I'm thinking that probably is banded after that, so it did lots of damage. Could be wrong though. Anyway, um, in comes this Oddish, which was a little bitch uh, this whole match, but you'll see uh, why. So I get uh, the recover off anyway. I'm thinking it might go for a grass move or some weird, yeah, some grass move or something like that. So I, go, I take this opportunity to go back to my Chimchar. I'm floating on a balloon, and that sleep powder misses. I'm so, I'm, I was like, yes, I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> so. In comes the uh, Growlithe again, probably expecting me to go for a fire move, trying to activate the flash fire. I'm just going to go for the uh, fake out again, and the light screen does wear off there. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to stay in there, and I take that crunch and get the defense drop, which is <clears throat> okay, that takes my uh, air balloon away. I'm going to set up the stealth rocks there, so my rocks are on the field, so that's pretty decent. Uh, she does have any entry hazards up on the field, so I can safely switch uh, my Chimcher out and go into my Whipper again. Okay, so uh, that crunch does quite a lot, and she does stay in again and do a second crunch, so I'm going to go for the waterfall there, and that should definitely take out the uh, Growlithe, so yeah, and that's uh, good on my part. I got rid of that thing, that was, uh, uh, that's a bit of a terror in a little cup. Okay, so in comes Pornite, I just hate these things, uh, <laughs> my poor Whipper. Um, so she goes for the Sword Dance, I'm not really too sure why, because I've got the Unaware ability, and... I can easily, um, I can, that doesn't have any effect on me at all. So I go, I go for the recover there, which is fine. I'm like thinking, oh, this is cool. Um, then comes the Iron Head. <laughs> it does so much damage to me. It, it crits me and, um, I get a flinch at the same time. So I crit and flinch. I was like, fuck. So, uh, that was, yeah, that's not any good. Poor Whooper. He's crying now. <laughs> but anyway, that was really sucked on that part. So... Oh well, that's pokes. So I'm going to bring in my um, my frog beast here. Um, I'm going to go for the vacuum wave there, just um, just seeing there what you actually bring in. So in comes this pineco. This thing's a little bitch as well. It can tank so many hits. Um, so I was thinking, hmm, I might just go out and see what it uses. And I, but um, at this point, I was thinking it might try and spin me, which it did. And fortunately, there I lived the rapid spin with one health. I'm like, yes. So. <laughs> Um, she's going to go for the protect there, uh, predicting my fake out or just stopping my fake out in general. So uh, that was good play on her part. Um, I'm thinking, I'm fuck it, I'm just going to go for the overheat, overheat here. I'm going to hit anything. So no, that Growlithe's gone now. Um, so she's switching her balls, um, and that's definitely going to take um, uh, Voltorb out for sure. Um, so Chimchar is, was actually pretty damn handy in this battle. Um, I kind of replaced him with my skinny lead I used before because that was fail. Anyway, so this is a pretty funny fight. Uh, she goes for the sucker punch there. I definitely predicted that, and I went for the taunt there so that thing could no longer set up any sword dance or any annoying things like that because I no longer have Whooper with Unaware. Uh, she goes for sucker punch again, and I go for the stealth rock there. So she must be really raging and hating me at the moment. And since there's no entry hazard up on the field, I'm going to swap that out and. Um, uh, do, do that whole thing again. So in comes the Zorak, because you're probably getting pissed off, and you're like, I just want to kill this thing. But I'm going to swap uh, that out as well. And I'm going to go into my Bronzor, because I know I can probably tank uh, anything this thing has. Um, unfortunately for me, Dark Pulse friggin' flinches me, so I didn't get as much... I didn't even get an attack off. I didn't get my screen and my attack off. I only got my screen uh, off, which... Yeah, which wasn't as really what I wanted, but that's all good. Um, my tank's going to go down there. So my tanks haven't really had a great time with, um, yeah, hacks in this match, but that's all good. Um, I'm going to bring in my um, 
I'm going to bring in my Chimchar again. I just want to get a little bit of damage on this uh, Zora. I know that I know that I can't outspeed it, but and I don't really want to swap anything else into it, so um, I kind of had to just use it as fodder there, but that's all right. So what I'm going to do is go into my Krogunk again. Um, I've got my air balloon because, I don't know, I just I went crazy with air balloons in this battle just because it was fun. So in comes the Pyko again. Um, Stealth Rocks does dig into that and does quite a bit of damage. Uh, but I find out this thing's got an Iron Berry instead of Everlight, which is, okay, fair enough. So Vacuumwain's going to do nothing there at all. Uh, so this was pretty funny. Um, the light screen wears off there. I go for the Nasty Plot and I'm thinking, hmm, I might be able to set up on this thing. Um, completely forgetting about one Pokemon on their team until the, until the, um, a couple of, until like a minute after this. So if you go to the Bug Bite, um, that gives a crit on me, but my Pops may have learned at least. Uh, Bug Bite's a pretty handy move actually in LC because you can, um, you can steal their berry. It's pretty, uh, pretty damn handy. So, um, of course it's going to go for the Rapid Spin and get rid of all the, uh, rocks and stuff on the field. I'm going to go for the, uh, Vacuum Wave that just holds on there. I'm thinking, hmm... Judging by the damage, she's only got Bug Bite that can actually uh, actually hit me, so I'm going to go for my third Nasty Plot, so I've got plus six attack priority on Vacuum Wave. I'm like, this is cool. This hardly ever would happen. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking, don't creep me or anything strange like that, which uh, didn't happen. I'm just going to finish off that Pineco there um, uh, with the Vacuum Wave. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm getting pretty good at the moment. Then I completely forget about this Oddish. I'm like, oh shit, this thing like fully resists me to like the max. So I hit it with, <laughs> I hit it with like my strongest attack and it does fuck all. It does fuck all. <laughs> so it uses sleep powder there and I'm basically screwed. Um, and I thought I better switch it out soon, away, soon as I can because I knew Salad was going to come back in and yeah, um, mix my salad up. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go into my Dutini here because... Um, I'm going to try and do it, get a bit of a sweep on here. So she's going to go for the U-turn there. Uh, doesn't do too much to Dutini, uh, which is uh, fine, I guess. I go for the Thunder Wave um, on this uh, switch, which is uh, fine. Um, that was, sorry, that was the Zara. What am I talking about? I got fucking bamboozled there. That was the Zara. Sorry. Anyway, so um, this is the actual real Salad now. So Salad is um, paralyzed. I take this opportunity to go for the Dragon Dance, um, hoping... Um, that sucker punch won't come. So I could have attacked that time, but I know Outrage wouldn't have done as much if I didn't get the DD off. Unfortunately, she doesn't get paralyzed that time, and I'm like, oh, damn. I had to go for it anyway. So um, so I've only got Baby V left, and as, of course, this is my last Pokemon, as usual. Oops, sorry, we'll save the Asleep um, Krogunk, but he's basically fucking useless. So I'm going to go for the uh, Shell Smash there, and get raising my stats like just a fucking shitload. Now, I was just a little bit worried about Sucker Punch here, whether I could actually take that. Um, so she doesn't, don't get, she doesn't get paralyzed, and I just hold on with three health. I'm like, oh, shit, I was close. I was like, don't get a crit here. So um, my best move I can use against this thing is um, Icicle Sphere. I like getting rid of these first, but obviously I didn't really get a chance in this match because it was, it was really, really annoying. So fortunately for me, I am carrying Ice Shard, and that will out-prioritize Sucker Punch and all that jazz. So uh, that's going to go down. Um, that was the really annoying part. So in comes, um, in comes Onion uh, again. So I think I, I can I can outspeed this, because I know I'd probably have a max speed of 17 in Little Cup. Um, and I'm much, much faster now. And, and I'm 100% certain that I don't have any priority moves at all. Um, but her last Pokemon uh, was the little Oddish that took my vacuum wave so, so well. I'm crying because it took it so well. <laughs> but anyway, that was a really cool game, and um, I'm sure we'll definitely battle again. Um, probably one of these little cat battles again. They're really, really fun getting into them and stuff. So yeah, go check her out. I'll leave a description, a little link in the description. Go check her out. And if you could please leave a, a comment and like in the comment section where you write comments. That'd be awesome too. Um, and thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, peace out, everyone.